across Oregon, regional and community planners are faced with the interesting challenge of envisioning the future. It is becoming more and more evident that development strategies, transportation options, and travel choices made today can and do impact the livability of a community well into the future. If we choose to invest more in transit to improve service, or if we decide instead to expand road capacity, how do these choices affect housing, traffic, air, or water quality in our community? If we charge for parking in a downtown area, or we opt for bike lanes and walking paths in a particular district, what impact do these decisions have on our town? Do they promote a more viable city core? Do they improve public health? Do they enhance a community's overall livability? These are tough questions that planners, elected officials, and community members face. Now, there is a new tool that can help answer those questions. Supported by the Oregon Department of Transportation and the Department of Land Conservation and Development, this tool will help metropolitan planning organizations gather, analyze, and understand data. Data that will help predict the outcomes as transportation and land use choices are proposed for the community. The tool is called a strategic assessment. It allows a data-driven look at how the policies put in place today may play out in the future. So strategic assessment really comes from scenario planning and that's something most Oregon communities are familiar with. Scenario planning is a way at looking at different potential alternative futures and seeing what the outcomes will be. Strategic assessments are a piece of that and they really look at the current plans and trends of today to see where that gets you tomorrow. The work in Oregon around strategic assessments and scenario planning has been primarily focused on greenhouse gas emissions because of legislation that drove these efforts. But now, as state agencies of ODOT and DLCD, we think it's important to look at other community goals and objectives, such as public health and household costs, in addition to greenhouse gas emissions, and look at ways to develop transportation and land use actions and strategies that get a community to better reach the goals that they're interested in reaching. Oregon communities already lead the way in innovative planning efforts in the U.S. So you may wonder, why should I use this new tool if we're already doing a good job? The reason? Because it's another cutting edge tool available for MPOs to use for free. The strategic assessment tool was designed here in Oregon and is beginning to be used nationally. It allows us to ask ourselves how well our plans and policies get us to where we want to go. I, I think this really builds on uh, the kind of planning that Oregon communities have done over the last 20 to 30 years. So this isn't so much something new as it is uh, an opportunity to revisit and build on the foundation that we already have. Uh, Oregon communities are better positioned to deal with the future than uh, most communities around the country, and this is an opportunity to uh, stay ahead of the path. Strategic assessments are primarily for metropolitan planning organizations, including the areas of Eugene and Springfield, Portland Metro, Corvallis, Salem-Kaiser, Bend, and Rogue Valley. So it can tell you the things that a community values and wants to see improved in an area, such as improved public health, lower greenhouse gas emissions, more clean air and water, they can see the outcomes of their policies and how they may help that community to achieve those things. This strategic assessment may include such things as looking at parking policies, reviewing zoning codes, considering transit investments, or analyzing pedestrian upgrades. Ultimately, the strategic assessment provides a community the chance to explore how different policies and investment choices create different results. It's a modeling effort, and when it's done, community members can decide if they want to adjust plans and policies to get different outcomes, the outcomes that particular community desires. A strategic assessment is done using ODOT's regional strategic planning model. Um, it's a version of the peer-reviewed and nationally recognized Green Step tool. 
um, the Regional Strategic Planning Model, or what we call RSPM, utilizes data from adopted plans and information that we've gathered um, from local jurisdictions to paint a picture of what the region will look like 20 or 40 years into the future. As part of the strategic assessment, different policy combinations can be tested. For example, this is the interactive scenario viewer that's a key product of the strategic assessment. Um, up here we have inputs for policies that are chosen for the community, and down here we have the outcome or the performance measure of the policies. So um, a community can test which policies produce which outcomes. So if a region wants to create a healthier community, say with more walking, someone can identify over here that they want to select the scenarios that have this high walking output. And you can see the changes up here in the policies that would lead to that outcome. For instance, over in community design, it looks like we need to go with the more aggressive um, policies to achieve those higher walking goals. And community design is a mix of policies that enable shorter trips and travel by alternative modes. So this includes um, land use changes, um, parking fees, bike promotion, and so forth. So that would lead you to more healthier community in terms of more active modes being taken. The strategic assessment and the scenario viewer tool can be a really great place for a community to understand um, the policy implications in the future. It's like a crystal ball looking 20 or 40 years ahead and that's a great place to start a conversation about where you want to take the community in the future. You know the big uh, objective of Oregon's planning program is to keep Oregon and Oregon communities livable, vibrant places. And through urban growth boundaries and protecting farm and forest land, um, we've done something that no other state in the nation has been able to do. Um, and I think uh, Oregonians value that, and this is an opportunity for us to uh, build on what we have already done. The first community that has agreed to do a strategic assessment is the Corvallis metropolitan area. That metropolitan area has a a long history of doing very progressive kinds of planning and the strategic assessment will provide them with insights about how effective those plans are likely to be in uh, helping make the community a better place. Uh, going through this process generates a, a wealth of uh, data for the community and uh, a great deal of uh, planning analysis and policy analysis that will be very useful in the future uh, for, for the community and for our planning processes. Well, in the strategic assessment we did for the Corvallis Metropolitan Planning Area, we've learned a lot of things. Um, their adopted plans, first off, provide a lot of benefits. They've invested a lot in bike lanes and transit that allow the core area of the region to really have a reduced auto miles per capita. The effort shows that the most effective greenhouse gas reduction policies are also supportive of other goals that the community might have. Um, for instance, a road user fee, um, in addition to curbing fun funding shortfalls, reduces vehicle miles traveled. Additionally, providing more mixed use and transit options um, in addition to getting people walking and biking, this is better for health and better for our travel costs. So the Corvallis planning area has a lot of options and a lot of them can benefit in ways that they didn't anticipate when they started the strategic assessment. Now we have uh, analysis results that we can use uh, uh, in the future for, uh, for our planning purposes. A strategic assessment is a relatively low-cost technical exercise. It takes about six months and the local MPO staff is supported by ODOT and DLCD staff members who will help with gathering data, running the model, and understanding the results. Once the results are available, the MPO is under no obligation from either ODOT or DLCD to act on the results or change existing plans. Some communities may find that they're not quite as far along on the outcomes that they want. So this allows them the opportunity to look at what different policy choices they could make to get them in the direction that they want to go. Strategic assessment is merely an additional tool for communities who want to look into the future. 
and make sure it's the future they want to see.